Hey guys, what's going on? Michael Panetta back with another video. And I wanna thank the folks over at Azul for sending out this item to review today and for sponsoring this video. Without them, this content would not be possible. So we are taking a look at the Byte 3 Mini PC. Now this thing comes packed with a lot of features, but there are some limitations to it. The processor is an Apollo Lake N3450. It does have Windows 10 Pro on it, so you're gonna get a little bit more functionality out of that. The memory is only four gig in this particular model that I am trying out, but it also does come with a eight gig version. And it also has only 32 gigs of storage inside. It does have an expansion slot, and I do suggest getting an external drive to be able to save photos or any kind of documentation that you're gonna have on the PC itself. The machine itself has a ton of ports. You've got USB type C, you've got your power port, you've got VGA for those old monitors, HDMI, which supports 4K up to 60 FPS. You have your Ethernet port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a Kensington lock, and four USB ports, 3.0 for two of them, 2.0 for one, and of course you've got an SD card slot which supports up to 256 gigabytes. It also comes with a remote, which does a little bit on the Windows portion, but I think it has a lot more functionality for programs like Kodi when you're maneuvering around that system. Now the USB Type-C connector on this is a generation two, so it only supports data transfer up to 10 gigabits. Uh, it does not do power or any kind of audio or video transfer. So you can't take this and hook this up to a monitor uh, via that. You're gonna have to use the HDMI or the VGA depending on how old your monitor is. My overall experience with this mini PC is it's great for watching videos, doing emails, uh, building files on Excel, Word, shopping, cruising the internet. For that, it's perfect. So if you want a little PC, uh, maybe for in the kitchen, you have a little area where it's just enough to fit a monitor. This is great for saving space. Uh, if you want to keep your desk clean and you just want something for everyday uh, tasks, this is perfect for that for only $200. I think Azul did a great job packing a whole lot of features in this. You can expand it to be able to save your documentations or your photos. Uh, as far as, like I said, gaming goes, I would look for something else for that. But you cannot go wrong for that price point on this. So again, I want to thank the folks over to Zool for sending this out for review. And uh, I think I'm going to keep this around just uh, for general tasks. I think my wife will like using it. And uh, if my daughter wants to watch any videos or anything like that on YouTube, I think this will do her well. So guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're stopping by for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video.